as well as doing lumps and bumps with time team, Stuart is also, so he tells me, an expert on industrial <laughs> archaeology. And we're up in the clouds at the moment in the Lake District, looking at, you know, what looks like jumbles of rocks. But if you've got the eye like Stuart has got, as he walks around, he's pointing stuff out to me. So just in front of us are a couple of stones that have been hollowed out and clearly looked like that was done by human hand. And there's one or two other features. But what have you noticed up here, Stuart, that you'll have to shout because of the... <laughs> Well, I mean, first of all, we're sitting next to a, a built wall here. This is part of a big building, which is built up against those huge great rocks up there. So they've been incorporated into this building. And all these stones that have fallen off here have fallen from that wall. Including and the building was used for? Lead or copper mine, copper mining, I should say copper here, copper mining. I mean, that's, that's what we're looking at. All these piles of material are the material that's the result of taking copper out of the ground, taking the ore from under the ground, bringing it to the surface, smashing it with a hammer to get the copper ore out, and then taking the copper ore away for smelting, which leaves all this waste material behind. But all these piles of material tell us something about the processes that are going on. And these stones? Including these, because these are what are called mortar stones. Right. This is where, you know, what a pestle and a mortar looks like for grinding powder. So after powder. you've got your lump of rock, smashed it to bits into little fragments yep, like that, this. that sort of size. You're then putting them into these yep. and, and wallop. And grinding them, literally, like you would grind corn with a mortar. And over a period of time, it wears a hollow in the rock. The thing about these is that this is a very early process. Right. This is pre... 19th century, it's pre 18th century. You would expect to find these either with Elizabethan period yes. or early 17th century or even earlier than that. Because later we begin to use stamps and machines That's right, machines. driven by water. Yeah. Lots of rivers and streams up here, steam driven things in the later period, smashing things. Whereas this look, you can feel the way these have been pecked away by. Um, process of smashing out the copper. I mean, I've, got, I've actually got a bit in my pocket. Oh, hello. He's got a bit uh, in his pocket. I'm not sure what somewhere. he's got a bit Hang on a minute. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Collection of things. It's I mean, that's up. in a later bit. That, that's copper. You see it? Right, right. It's sort of shiny. I don't know if you can see that. Sort of shiny. Copper colour, surprisingly. And they would have been taking chunks of this, smashing it down to get rid of the other stuff, and then grinding that material in here. Yeah. And then... Francis referred to a pit in there with, with a rather nice name. A buddle. A buddle. A buddle, yes. We have beer, buddle it? pits, <laughs> apparently. And what were they used for? Because that was a fascinating. Well, what, what you're trying to do, you're trying to get that ore out the rock. I mean, the first stage, as you say, you hammer it away. Smash it in here. Um, yeah. And get as much as you can out of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, eventually, you get to the point where they, they, you, you end up with lots of um, broken material. Little granular granules bits. of it. Yeah. Uh, but it's still got copper and in it. And you chuck it in the bottle yeah, then? You put it in a, in a, in, it's basically like a round tub. Yeah. And um, through centrifuge, stirring it, what happens, the different minerals have different specific gravities and weight. Yes. So the heavier stuff sinks to the side and the bottoms, and lighter stuff comes to the and top. And the copper's skim, lighter, yeah, it's skim, heavier. Yeah, you can skim it off the top. And the copper's lighter. Yeah, that's than right. The, you can, than the, yeah. The actual base rock That's here, right. which yeah. is what is the base? Is it slate granite? It, it's all igneous. It's, it's a right old mixture of yeah, igneous mixture rocks stuff. up here, okay. igneous and metamorphic, okay. mostly igneous rocks up here. Which, and what type. would you most like to do for three days? What would be the goal that you really like to achieve? Well, first of all, to if we can establish that this firmly is Elizabethan date, or not. Date that structure. Date this structure. Yeah. There's another structure up there. Let's see what they're doing in the Elizabethan period. Yes. Because there are very clear indications here of time depth in this dressing process that we see here. And it's quite possible, yes. from the evidence we see around these buildings, that we're seeing mining which is earlier than date, even than the Elizabethan period. Right. So, so that would be the big prize for you if we, in three days, can find out if this site, in fact, goes back into the medieval period? And possibly into the Roman period. There's possibly. absolutely no reason why not. Okay.